Now it's time to review things that you're supposed to already know. So I want you to recall these special products. If I have a plus b squared, please remember that it's not just a squared and b squared. There is also the middle term of 2ab. If you forget this guy, then you're in trouble. This is one of the loneliest guys in all of mathematics. Everybody forgets him. They like the a squared plus b squared, but you know what? If you want to get a squared and b squared, you also have to have the 2ab. <coughs> One of the other super awesome special products is this guy. What happens if I multiply a plus b times a minus b? You get the difference of squares, a squared minus b squared. Love this guy. Remember, if I ever had a tattoo, it would probably be this. I don't have a tattoo, so don't worry. Now that you should worry if someone has a tattoo. I'm not worried. Don't be concerned. So all you need to do is use these special products and apply them. So if I have x plus 7 squared, you have to be able to identify that this is a and this is b. And then we use the special product to multiply this. Sometimes it helps to just sketch the special product underneath like this. <coughs> What's a squared? X squared. What's b squared? B squared. It's 49. The middle piece is 2 times a times b. Well, it might be better for you to see this this way. Do the product of a and b first, multiply a and b first, and then double that. What do you get? I get 14x x times 7 is 7x. <coughs> if you had foiled this, if you had written it out like this, x plus 7 times x plus 7, not only do you get x squared and 49 when you foil, but you also get outside is 7x, <coughs> inside is 7x. How many times do you see 7x? Twice. That's where the 2 comes from. Mr. Craig, can I just go ahead and foil it whenever I want to? No. You can foil it, but I'm going to be doing the special product and you're going to get lost because you don't remember and you don't practice. That's why I'm having you do those homework exercises. So, <coughs> I hope that you will practice. I'm not putting the homework there for my sake, but for yours. How about 3x minus 5y quantity squared? Use that special product. What do you think is the first piece? If I look at this and I square the 3x, you get just what you were saying, which is 9x squared. If I square this last guy, even though he's a negative, what will I get? Positive, Positive what? positive 25y squared. Now the tricky part comes with the middle stuff. You have to multiply these two terms together and then do what? Multiply, multiply, multiply times 2. Double it. So if I multiply these two <coughs> terms together, what do you get? Negative 15xy. If you had foiled, you'd see it twice. So if you double negative 15xy, you get what? negative 30 xy. <coughs> There's something I want you guys to see and understand about that middle term. The variable pieces that you see, the xy, show up exactly the way you see them as xy. That means if you do something that's a little bit more complicated, nine x to the fifth plus <coughs> 4y to the 11th squared. If you square, if you do this piece right here, <laughs> 81x to the 10th, to the tenth, go ahead and get the last guy, because I know you will. 
What's four squared? 16 y to the 22nd, right? Is everybody with me? It's the middle term that always messes with us. All you need to worry about is the coefficient because I'm going to tell you right now, these variable components that you see will go down just the way you see them. x to the 5th, y to the 11th. These coefficients, you multiply those and then you multiply that result times 2. So what do you get? 9 times 4 is 36, times 2 is 72. <clears throat> what do you guys think about that? Is it too easy? Let's do some even easier stuff. <coughs> Let's take you to my world. Take you to my happy place, so to speak. I know you guys probably don't want anything to do with my happy place. X plus 13 times X minus 13. Is that the same as the last three examples that I've done? It should give me the difference of squares, so how does it work out? X squared minus 169. You do the difference of those two squares. If you had multiplied this out, if you did the inside and the outside piece, what would have happened there? <coughs> they would cancel. <coughs> if I were to do 5x minus 8y times 5x plus 8y. Does that, is that set up to allow me to use the <coughs> difference of squares? Okay, so how does it work? 25x. Now wait a minute. It's not 25x. It's 25x squared, squared, squared yeah. minus what's the other piece? 64y squared. This should be pretty nice, right? And here's the thing. If we can multiply, then we can do the unmultiplication, which is called what? Factoring. Let me give you one more. This is the kind of example I love to give because it's just so much fun. Is this is this set up to use the difference of squares? No, so these guys are the same, <coughs> and these guys are the same. It's the difference of signs in the middle, right? These guys are called what's the fancy word? Do you remember what they're called? Uh, no, just these guys are conjugates. When I start talking about imaginary numbers, then we start talking about complex conjugates. But right now, these are conjugates. And the product of conjugates is the difference of squares. Okay. So coming back here, I just need to square this stuff. If I look at just this piece right here, don't worry about that guy. If you had to square this, what would you get? 49 over 16x to the what? x to the 12th minus, now let's square this other piece. What do you get? 81 over 121 y to the 4th. Now I want you to be very careful about this. When you have fractions as a coefficient, write them with a horizontal fraction bar, not one that has a slash. We need to understand that x to the 12th has a coefficient of 49 over 16. x is connected really to the 49, if you had to look at it as a fraction, not the 16. Because if you were to write that as 49, let me do this, 
if you did 49, if you did that, that's wrong because it looks like the x is connected to the 16 in the denominator. That's not right, and sometimes we lose points because you know that I get super critical about things. And if you don't believe me, ask people that have had me before.